Here's something you don't hear every day. A U.S. congresswoman is suing a former first lady who also served as secretary of state and lost the presidential election to Donald Trump. Yep, Dulce Gabbard suing Hillary Clinton for calling her a Russian asset with no, absolutely no proof, by the way. And by the way, because Tulsi Gabbard is in the military, the accusation carries extra weight. Why? Because there's this law, Title 18, U.S. Code 2381, that states that if a military officer is found guilty of treason, that person will be punished by death. If that doesn't explain why Gabbard is taking this so seriously, then nothing does. Here's RT's Rachel Blevins. She's joining me now to take us through this. So this is the real deal. This is a real lawsuit by Tulsi Gabbard against Hillary Clinton, huh? Absolutely. Tulsi Gabbard has filed a defamation lawsuit, and she is arguing that Hillary Clinton intentionally lied about her character with malicious intent. Now, the event that she points to is from October 2019, when Clinton was doing a podcast interview. And in it, she was talking about someone in the Democratic primary and saying, that the GOP was specifically using them to set them up as the spoiler third-party candidate. And when we look at the text of the lawsuit, this quote that she's taken from mm. Clinton is, she's the favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of sites and bots and other ways of supporting her so far, and that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not because she's also a Russian oh asset. Oh, my God. Yeah, she's a Russian asset. Now, it's interesting because Clinton doesn't say Gabbard's name directly there doesn't in matter. that quote. matter. She implied it. Uh, right, exactly. Yeah. However, when asked about whether Gabbard was the one that she was talking about, Clinton's team responded and a representative said, quote, if the nesting doll fits, this is not some outlandish claim, this is reality. And this week, uh, Hillary Clinton started attacking uh uh, what's Bernie, Sanders, Bernie Sanders, exactly. Right? Yeah, she's I mean, got what, this. What, what she's is, got this new documentary coming out all about her life, and in it, she went after Bernie and said, "Oh, he's a career politician, and nobody likes him." And Bernie Sanders responded to that by saying, "Well, on a good day, at least my wife likes me." <laughs> but at the same time, that it started this whole campaign on social media with people coming out and saying that they do, in fact, like Bernie Sanders. However, it is interesting because you've got two presidential candidates Hillary Clinton is going after, who are both anti-establishment, both have criticized. U.S. foreign policy, and both have criticized Hillary Clinton's foreign policy. But if she's implying that the uh, establishment, especially the Democratic establishment in Congress, doesn't like Bernie, that's more reason to like Bernie. Exactly. Exactly. And what we saw was we saw Tulsi Gabbard gaining more favor when Hillary Clinton went off to her, and now we're seeing Bernie Sanders go up in the polls as well. What happens with this lawsuit? Where's it going? Is this serious? Is this going to be taken up by court? Right. Well, that's the hope, and Tulsi Gabbard is asking for at least $50 million and monetary damages. However, she's saying that it's about much more than that. She's saying that not only does she want to hold Hillary Clinton accountable, right. but she also wants to hold the entire political elite accountable for making claims like this and speaking out and calling her a Russian asset, but not actually giving the proof to back it up. And that's a pretty serious claim, especially when you're talking about someone who is an active officer in the military. This is a fascinating story. Hillary Clinton really going after everybody right now. What's up? Thank you. Appreciate it, Rachel. Well done. Thank you. All right. Now the